The day after the big brouhaha at the Catherine Jackson home, I called Thomas Mesru, who had been Michael's attorney, and pleaded with him to do something about this unfolding disaster. The media was hyping this minor incident at the Catherine Jackson home. This is what occurred on television a few hours ago when Thomas Mesro spoke up. And very devoted to Michael's children. So this is not the kind of family you would expect any of these things that are being reported to, to, to experience. So I'm hoping that everything gets straightened out very quickly, that everything gets back to normal. Uh, my understanding is Catherine's returning, and I bet she's reappointed, uh, you know, to take care of the kids, to be their guardian. And I hope things get back to normal, because they're a nice family. Yeah, and, and that's the thing that was so strange to me, Tom, and I think you really hit the nail on the head. We've always heard the family members, the kids, always speaking with the utmost respect for Catherine, everybody saying when she was appointed guardian of Michael's kids that she was absolutely the right person. And then we hear Catherine's grandson, TJ, uh, saying in court today that he had this disturbing conversation with Catherine, that she didn't even sound like herself on the phone, and, and the attorney saying that she has been taken against her will. That's Catherine's attorney. So I imagine when you heard that, that just didn't make any sense to you. I can't imagine her children kidnapping her. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Now listen, she's 82 years old. She's involved in a wrongful death lawsuit involving Michael's death, which has to be very, very draining for her and, and very disturbing for her. She's raising three beautiful children. Uh, that's got to have its rigors, you know, and, and difficulties. So maybe she was tired. Maybe she was weary. Maybe she had a medical issue. I just don't know. I just know that this is not a family that, that, that does the kinds of things that I'm, are being reported. Yeah. Now, every large family has differences. Uh, any large family is going to have differences of opinion. Uh, there are going to be some conflicts here and there. To think there wouldn't be would be unrealistic. But nevertheless, these are fundamentally nice, kind people. They're talented people that the world loves to look at. And of course, when the media is all over you, that creates pressures as well. So I'm hoping everything gets back to normal. They're good people. Okay, so then given all of that, Tom, you know, what do you actually think is, is going on here? We've heard the reports. That a lot of people have been suggesting this is all about a will, a will that some of the brothers, some of the family members are saying was not even a real will. Some people are saying it's all about money. You're a real Jackson insider. You've known these guys for a long time. What do you think the bottom line is here? Well, certainly there is tension over the will and the estate. Uh, I know that Michael's brothers and sisters uh, are very suspicious of this will, uh, very suspicious of how it originated, uh, where it was executed, whether his signature is correct. Um, you know, they're watching lawyers make lots of money on their brother's estate, and they're not really being included as they think they should have. But this is not unusual in a big estate. This is not atypical. You know, very often siblings, heirs, uh, people who are not included are very suspicious of what happened and when things happened and who influenced uh, the deceased. So this is not an unusual development. What's unusual is that the estate is so large and the family is so famous. Yeah. So to have tension would be expected. It would be normal. But this idea of kidnapping and abuse and that kind of thing just makes no sense to me, and I hope it's not true. Uh, I don't know uh, what happened at the estate, uh, if there was some bickering or arguing, you know, so what else is new among large families? But I'm just hoping that none of it's uh, at the level that it's being reported. Well, there's still one very big burning question about this Jackson family feud. That crazy surveillance video of Michael's teenage daughter, Paris, getting into a confrontation with her aunt, Janet Jackson, who released that video? It just had to be someone inside the Jackson family, right? Tom, I want you to stay right where you are. This all went down while the matriarch of the family, Catherine Jackson, was mysteriously away from home. That surveillance video of Janet getting into what looks like a shoving match with her niece, Paris, has sparked so many questions. What happened? Who would want that video to be released? Back with me now for a showbiz newsmaker interview, criminal defense attorney Thomas Mesereau famously defended Michael Jackson in his 2005 molestation trial that ended, of course, with Michael being acquitted of all charges. And Tom, I gotta get your take on this surveillance video. Someone inside the Jackson family released the video. What does it say to you about how fractured the Jackson family is right now? Well, first of all, just because uh, it, there was a little argument doesn't mean uh, anything unusual happened. All families have arguments once in a while. People start to, to yell, things get heated. It doesn't mean anything really unusual happened as far as I'm concerned. It's just that it happened to be the Jacksons who are under a fishbowl. 
So just if Janet and Harris, if they had arguments, they had arguments. I mean, I don't know what it was about. And as far as who took the video and who released it, it could only be family members, the sheriff's department, or the media somehow sneaked in and got a hold of this. I don't know what happened. Okay. Somebody wanted to publicize this. Somebody wanted to make a big issue out of it. And I honestly don't know who did it. Okay, yeah, well, it was released from a Jackson family member. But listen, we know that Michael, Tom, was known to be worried about uh, someone being out to get him. We know that Michael trusted his mother with his children, but did you get the sense that he trusted his siblings or was there some mistrust there? Well, Michael was very protective of his children at all times. He was a dedicated, devoted, loving father. He wanted them protected. He wanted them to grow up educated, well-read, well-traveled, well-balanced. He wanted them to understand the pressures of the media, being a Jackson. And I never saw him say or do anything that suggested he didn't want his siblings around his children, never. You know, Michael was a family person. As I said before, all families have differences. And when you have fame and fortune involved, things get exaggerated repeatedly. But Michael never said anything to me that suggested he didn't want his siblings around his children. Never. Well, obviously, you can't know for sure, but you obviously know the family well. Uh, with that inside knowledge, how do you see this drama getting resolved, Tom? I'm hoping it gets resolved very quickly. I understand Catherine's returning. I hope her health is okay. You know, she's 82 with a lot of responsibilities. She's a loving, kind person. Hopefully, if she's having any physical uh, or, or any other type of, uh, of illness, that it gets straightened out. I hope they go back into court. She gets reappointed. And I hope everybody calms down and, and continues to be the nice people that I've always seen them as being. Well, it's good to hear you saying that, and it gives us some hope that, you know, perhaps things will be restored to normalcy as far as normalcy can exist within the Jackson family. I, I really appreciate your special and unique insight into all this. Tom Ezra, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Michael, you still have a friend in Tom Mesero. See ya. That everything gets back to normal.